All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol S, R, and E. So Rental Therapeutics Inc. And after this bullish run here, right, it leveled off and we're seeing here what is going on in this chart. But before we jump into this chart, I want to welcome every single investor and first time viewer to my channel. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. Hope you guys find this video helpful and informative. And to all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's see what the charts have to say. So as I was stating, this bullish run, we can see how it leveled off. And we can clearly see what the charts are showing us here, that there was a slight recovery. But we're going to have to move these resistance levels and supports to their new locations. Now, it's pretty awesome to see that resistance was broken through after the bears bringing this below the 50-day moving average by default because the 50-day moving average started catching up to the price and the bears honestly lost control here because the bulls quickly reappeared, brought this one up and closed out at 975. So let's go ahead and move this to its new locations, our new resistance levels and support. We slightly moved up and we are going to see the important factors here that play out on what's important and how this is going to play out tomorrow. So the highest point here is 1128. 1128 needs to be broken through by the bulls to continue to work their way up to newer highs. I mean, that's the highest point reached after this recovery from a very bearish run that Sorrento had for quite some time. I mean, when we go all the way out, it was just falling and falling. And that's the highest point that it's reached. So very important to break through that for the bulls. Now let's zoom in here and see our important resistance level and support levels for tomorrow. So it closed out at 975. For the bulls to continue to stay above the 50 day moving average and work their way up deeper into bullish territory, they will need to break through this resistance level. There was a rejection at that point and this resistance level is 982. If the bulls break through 982, turn that into support, it will start to work its way up to newer highs and new resistance levels. So very important for the bulls to break through 982, get further away from the 50-day moving average, which is 948 in an upward direction. I'd also write down 948, which is our 50-day moving average. Very important number. As long as the bulls stay above it, they're in control, and if it gets broken through, the bears are gaining control. So very important to keep in mind for tomorrow. Again, I want to emphasize that 982 needs to be broken through by the bulls so this can start to work its way up to newer highs. On the other hand, we have our support. And the support, if it gets broken through, the bears have accomplished two things. They broke through the 50-day moving average, right? Accomplished getting into bears territory, and they just broke through the first support that honestly was touched twice in the day and the bulls used it to continue to work their way up so if the bears break through that they got into bears territory and they got deeper into it breaking the first support to start to hit newer lows and new support levels and our support level is 891 very important number i want to emphasize that as well if that gets crossed a big thing has happened. The bulls lost control from being in bullish territory. It broke through the 50 day moving average. The bears accomplished getting into bearish territory. And now they broke through the first support that's going to allow them to get even further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction, getting deeper into lower support levels and new levels of support, right? Breaking further away and hitting newer lows. So very important, whatever's going on at 891, I want to emphasize how important it is to pay close attention to it. Is it hanging out? Are the bulls trying to reappear and bring this back up? Or is it just breaking through it and hitting newer lows fairly quickly, getting further away from 891? I highly encourage you guys to check out my other videos that it's about to pop up. It's actually talking about the pump for tomorrow. So if you guys haven't seen that, double check that video. If you guys have been overlooking it or if you're a first time viewer, I highly encourage you to go check it out. Great information in there for a lot of investors that have been missing out on that. And it's really a great way for us as investors to take advantage of the opportunity to make some money. And obviously you have to do your due diligence and research, but check it out. 
I highly encourage you guys to check out the video that's going to pop up at the end. And anybody that found this video helpful and informative and feels inclined or encouraged to subscribe, please do so. But don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. Share us with your friends in your community. And thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.